So we had a little competition. I promised John my mustache is going to be bigger than his. Didn't happen. Maybe next month. Okay, take your seat. I feel like we've been talking before. Yes. You can choose. But I prefer you to sit here. I, I prefer to sit closer. Okay, perfect. So, blockchain revolution. Is it something you could print and, I don't know, have tattooed on your, on your head and, and look at people and say, there is a blockchain revolution, it's changing our world? There is a blockchain revolution and it's changing our world. <laughs> Yeah, it set it up. He was to set it, say it. So this is a big subject, right? So it's not just that it is a blockchain. It's not just that it is a distributed ledger. The blockchain uh, revolution that we're seeing right now is leading to a decentralization revolution. And that's the important part for all of us in this room and all of us in this world, basically. The decentralization part of it is where businesses get revolutionized. In essence, any place where we organize people, where we organize value, decentralization is going to change and revolutionize all of that. Yeah, but at the same time, decentralization is something what the companies are not looking for because it's easier to earn money when the market is centralized. Of course, it's also easier to earn money if you have a monopoly on something, for example. But history has just shown that we don't get the best products, we don't get the best services from monopolies. So that's, that's, a, that's a situation where most of us agree that more players in a market create a better market. It creates competition. It's the essence of the benefit of, free market, uh, of a free market structure. So we can go another level on that by introducing more players to the market, then we are going to automatically have a more fair system uh, in place. So we're not, when we say fair, we're not talking about um, one body distributing funds to others. All of the funds, the value and the time are distributed among the network, uh, the network uh, nodes themselves. Okay, so the Kingwin company already working, letting people to buy and sell their electronic products. So what is changing when the blockchain will start to work on your platform? So the major change here is we, we, are taking a we already took a step towards decentralization, as you mentioned, by, by having normal gamers able to sell their digital assets and buy their digital assets from each other. From a technical standpoint and an administrative standpoint, we need to be centralized with current technology. We need to have our servers in specific places. We need to have the data in specific places. This is where the blockchain helps us decentralize our business. One of the major things that you need centralization for in business and any organization today is trust. By centralizing trust to a single or few parties, then we can say, well, we have vetted these parties. In business, you could say, well, this is a respectable brand, for example. Then we can trust them to handle our payments, for example. I dare to give them my credit card payments because I trust them as an individual or an organization. So that's where we need centralization today. Uh, we need to be able to say that when somebody sells an asset on, uh, on our marketplace, they need to be able to say that this data, the payment, everything that's involved in this process is taken care of because they trust us. So that's, that, what's lead, that is what leads to us having a business, in essence. What we are seeing is we see a movement that's bigger than just cryptocurrencies and speculative investments. We think that this is the way that any marketplace needs to go. We just want to be among the pioneers there. And the reason we need to go there is, well, from our point of view, we are business people. We are not communists. We are not wanting to decentralize out of some sense of ideology. 
we believe that there is a much stronger business model for us by having more players part of the economy. We can grow faster, for example. The growth curve that we are on, we can accelerate that aggressively. A lot of the costs that are uh, attributed to growth, they more or less disappear when you use a decentralized model instead. We can distribute trust to a technology layer instead of a single party. Instead of saying, we need this trusted brand as a payment provider, or we need this trusted brand as a marketplace provider, we can assign trust to the platform, the technology platform itself. So when crypto people say that uh, something is trustless, what they mean is you don't need to trust anybody. You can just trust the platform because it's mathematically verifiable if this transaction went through in the way it should go through. Right now you are implementing token into your platform. What's the stage now? When does it start? Well, right now we are at a we are at the beginning of the beginning, so to say. Right now we're at the stage where we're telling people about what we're doing, we're telling people about our ICO, and we're developing towards the ICO. But the real fun starts actually when the ICO ends. That's when we are building this next generation platform for how you trade digital assets, game-related digital assets and services, among another. Um, so when is starting? Few months, few years? Well, we started this. Uh, we started this project in September last year, and it has been a very exciting journey so far. We uh, we have our developers working on the token creation contract uh, as we speak, um, and when we reach when we reach the ICO, we'll already have the first prototypes ready of this new functionality that we can do with a, with a decentralized network. So just to note, everything you can do today on Kingwin, you can do on a decentralized network, but there are just so many other things that are suddenly possible. Things that aren't cost effective with current models are suddenly very cheap and very easy to give to users. Um, but that will come at the ICO. Perfect, John, thank you. And good luck, and I have to take care of my microport. I did it. Thanks a lot. Thank you much. Sir.